Hello, you join us this week on the Ellesmere arm of the Clanglochlan Canal. Well, you leave Anthony for five minutes and he's jumping on a higher boat, helping him out because they're finding it really difficult to wind. Because the wind's in the opposite direction. He has to interfere. <laughs> it was me that told him to go and check if he needed help while I do lunch. Yeah, well done Anthony, he's managed to get the boat to swing round. That must have been a tricky spot. This is another surprise commission that's going over to America. Really happy with this. Really like the background too. Oh, good morning. Well, we're a little bit tired this morning. I'm in the galley. I went up onto the stern at half past two in the morning and I saw what I thought was some rubbish on the floor outside the boat, then realised it looked like a body. So I woke Anthony up, um, I went over to the person who lay on the side, um, it looked like a guy in his 40s, and he was just lay there half on the grass, half on the pavement. I assumed he was drunk and just fell asleep there. But we called the local police because, you know, we didn't know what happened to him and whether he could fall in the canal. An hour later, Anthony kept an eye on the guy, an hour later, we hadn't heard anything. Checked my phone with Mr. Cole from the emergency services, um, who asked us if he was okay, whether he was breathing, could we see any injuries. And then at half past four, the guy just got up and walked off. Uh, so thankfully, um, a good outcome, but not for us, because we're shattered. <laughs> We were up from half past two till half past four this morning. We were hoping to get off quite early, but it's looking a bit gloomy outside. We may just get the washing machine on, drop it off at the laundrette in Ellesmere and go for a coffee and cake. Why not? Right, I'm off doing breakfast. Anthony said he's not tired. He will be later. I'm very tired. I will be later, but mine's because my encore background, I'm used to having very little sleep and still functioning. Yeah. You were a lot younger then though, Anthony. <laughs> right, well, I've got um, prints to send off, um, some sound equipment that we ordered, and also, oh yeah, an original art piece. Really pleased that I've got it finished. It's got four weeks and a day to arrive to the States. Fingers crossed it gets there on time with the postal strikes we've got on in the UK. Right, it's very still today, very quiet. Um, we had a bit of an incident yesterday, didn't we? With uh, yeah. what we thought was an angry bolter telling us to move over and get out of the way and carry on. But he's got Tourette's. Um, so, yes. It's a real nice bloke, actually. I've you got, got chatting, chatting to him today? Yeah. Real nice bloke. Yeah. Morning. Right, we're off to the laundrette, we're off to the post office, and then we're hoping to get a coffee. Why the laundry is being dried. This is the Black Lion where a few bolters are meeting. Hopefully we'll have a little drink in there in a minute. Right, answer. Come on then, let's go. <laughs> right, laundry's on, we set a 30 minute timer and now pop into the post office. And then coffee and cake. It's all working out well this morning. See you in a minute. Yeah. Hiya. Have you got a table for two? Yeah. 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 Thank you. Come on then. Yeah. Oh, look at these lovely cakes. Don't they look delicious? Well, Mula was recommended to us by a friend, and uh, yeah, it all looks amazing. Yeah. Wow. Well. Ah, what have we got? Yeah, I'm kidding. I thought you were going for a sausage sandwich. No, we've got stuff like that on the boat, haven't we? So I'm treating myself to a little cake. Coffee and cake. Yeah. 
<laughs> right, well we just had coffee and cake at Moolah, what do you think? Absolutely delicious. Yeah, really nice I coffee. I highly recommend the coffee, the cake was nice as well, I'll do a still donata. Yeah, try a flat white, it was delicious. Yeah. We're having some bacon before we set off on Crumpet, Anthony decided to do some cheese. Guess who likes cheese? <laughs> That's only a little bit. It looks enormous that on camera. You're right. <laughs> well, it's very late. It's a lot later than we expected to sit off. And we're very tired, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. So it's starting to get very windy now as well. Yeah. Some bit We'll see what happens when I try and win the boat. Yeah, we decided to have lunch before setting off because we had quite a few ciders last night and we had a late night because of the things we are talking about yesterday. Uh, earlier on, we're going to turn around and turn right towards the Ponticicli, aren't we? We're, yeah. we're not going to get there today. No, we'll do we're a couple of hours cruising. We're not going to push it today, no. I don't think, because no. Dexter's all tired, very tired as including well. Including Dexter, who's struggling to get up the steps at the minute. Can you manage Dexter? Oh, bless, bless him. him. He's like an old man. Come on, steps. lad. Come on. He's made it. Good boy. Hiya. 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 Right. Hiya. Uh, so we shall set off and uh, we shall point the camera that way and enjoy the journey. Bad influence. <laughs> it is actually. Oh, look at the leaves falling. Beautiful. I have to be to get out. So, uh, just take your time. Oh, did you want to get water? Uh, it's up to you. As you turn right, you should be on your left hand side. Oh, yeah, they're at the water point, I think. Are they? Looks like it. Hello, where is it? Yours is the buildings here house a CRT office and maintenance yard, and Beach House was once the canal company's well, they're office. The water now. Sorry? They're filling up, aren't they? Well, what's that, though? There are plenty of water points here, so we filled with water and we got rid of our rubbish. Is that not a water point, there? Wow, that sun's bright, isn't it? Can you it's really, see? really low, just about. Well, I'm just following this boat, to be honest. Yeah, we should have set off earlier in the morning, shouldn't we? Yeah. We never learn. Well, to be fair, you <laughs> weren't up and ready, was you? And we had stuff to do. We had laundry to do. Yeah. Been to laundrette. We've been very productive, actually, considering we've had no sleep. I know. It's nice having a coffee and cake, wasn't it? Yeah. stuff was in the laundrette. You all right? Watch this tree. Dexter's doing his very best to trip me up. Every time I step back, he's there, isn't he? Yes, yeah, so Anthony was just saying that we were talking to Dave, who we met yesterday. What a cracking bloke. Hello, Dave. It's his birthday today. <laughs> Is that like the League of Gentlemen? What a cracking bloke. Hello, Dave. Hello, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, he said that the flow gets much worse as we get closer towards Chirk and the Clang Lachlan itself. Um, Haven't I just said all Clang Lachlan area. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm saying it's camera. <laughs> All right. People like to see our happy faces, don't they? <laughs> Your hungover face. Oh, yeah? Pretending not to be. Good job, I've got all these disguises on. Because we do feel a bit rough. I don't, I feel fine. That's not normal, though. I've never claimed to be normal, Paul. It's overrated. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to see how far we get today, probably just to the bottom of the locks and then call it yeah. a night. Well, he also said it was a nice mooring spot there, Jay said, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. 
We're on first name basis with all the bolters now. <laughs> <laughs> we went to Mem yesterday, didn't we? Yeah. We had a, such a cracking night. Yeah, they're all lovely bunks. Hiya, hi. Hiya. Very nice boat. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very you. much. Yeah, you can really feel the flow, can't you? Yeah. You were in, what, 1,000, 1,100 revs before? Yeah, I'm not at the moment, so I'm going to pass more boats, but... Oh, there's a nice gentle breeze. It's up to 17 degrees Celsius today, which is crazy for the end of October. Keep it coming, is what I say. Yeah, yeah. And just getting the whiff of smoke coming from the yeah. boats, from the fires. Nice. Maybe we'll just have to sit outside other people's boats yeah, to, to get, get our fix of <laughs> fires. Oh, a big thank you to Caroline and Pete for dropping off a bottle of red wine. How nice is that? I know, thank you. Yeah, that was lovely. Was it jammy red? It was. <laughs> Although, oh, boat coming. Have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen it. It's fine. I think we need to ease off on the wine for a little bit. At least till Christmas. Yeah, till tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's just a habit, isn't it? You relax in an evening. Glass of wine. I know, but and because I'm off work, it, it is my holiday, isn't it? Yeah. So. And then by the time you watch this, I'm hoping that we've done our live vlog on YouTube. We don't know it, yet. If we get a good internet and that's it's in the all mood. Internet. Hiya. 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 You all right? It's a lot easier that way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, somebody said that in summertime, obviously it's really busy here with a lot of higher boats and people who want to be on this canal, but it's like a, a real holiday mood and it almost feels like that today because like people are in high spirits because the sun's shining, aren't they? Yeah, it's always very more uplifting, isn't it, with the sun out? Yeah, and it's so nice to see people on holiday enjoying their narrow boat and you never know, we may see them on the canal in the future on their own boat. That was us, wasn't it, three years ago? Yeah. Can we just say a big thank you to our new patron, it is Rob Chisholm. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, thanks, Rob. Rob. Support. Thanks so much. And thank you to everybody that supports the channel. Thank you. It does mean a lot. We started out with day hire and ended up with this. You want to be careful? <laughs> <laughs> Oh that, no, that's, that's not my fault, is it? Are they alright? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. They could have got closer, but I suppose as a novice boater, you're always over cautious, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, they're alright. I think that's the thing as well. It's like that assumption. I mean, I think they are by the looks, but. Are you sure they're okay? Yeah, they're reversing. It's that assumption that people who hire yeah. boats and novices, and actually, that's not true. No. So our friends, Andy and Eric, do it and they do it frequently and they've done the helmsman training. So you can never judge from... Have they done the helmsman training? Yeah. Have they? I didn't realise. Um, oh, well, that's why they're so good then. I don't know whether they did it in Crick, you know that few days? Oh yeah, you've got about four feet. I know, I'm going to start swinging around now. Um, I don't know whether they did it then or they've done it again since like yeah. with somebody else but yeah they're very competent yeah um and it's that assumption i think that a lot of it's almost like a snobbery and it it, yeah. it drives me insane because we've seen less competent liverpool <laughs> to be honest I was included we're well, like we always we make mistakes yeah i mean david bramley who we know really well he got some stick recently didn't he when he commented on one of our videos about oh half to on the clang locally brace yourselves I think it's very tongue in cheek though, isn't it? Well, it with is tongue in cheek. And he's not having a go at holiday boaters, he's just having a go because it's very It's busy. chaotic. So, what have you got on now? How many revs? Uh, just under a thousand. Oh, just under a thousand, and we're not moving. <laughs> it's about an inch a second. Well, the wind's coming towards us as well, isn't it? Yeah. Do you remember that as a kid? Yeah. <laughs> what, doing that? Wetting your finger and then seeing, yeah. yeah. Or throwing grass up in the air. Which is no good when you're on a boat. <laughs> I don't remember doing that. <laughs> is that one of your pagan rituals? Yeah. Oh. 
You all right? I love bonsai. <laughs> I do. I love your work. Oh, <laughs> no, thank, thank you. you. True or false? Leave your answers in the comments below. Did Auntie start doing homebrew at age 14? Looking at this innocent face, what do you think? I think people. <laughs> well, there's no true Can't. or false fact there, is there? Well, you've got, you've got to let people guess up for it. And well, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm going to let you know next. <laughs> <laughs> There's a boat there called Echo, E W C O. Do you pronounce it Echo? Or Echo? <laughs> and Echo, that's often what Anthony says I'm doing, because everything that he says than I say. It's just in case you don't understand this strong Manchester accent, that then I repeat what Anthony says, isn't it? But they're on a hiding to nothing, aren't they? <laughs> if you think I've got a strong accent and then you're having to translate. <laughs> Oh, Rupert. I used to love Rupert. I used to love Rupert. Do you know what? One of my first Christmas presents that I remember was a Rupert the Bear, like foam. Did anybody else have one of them? And you could move the arms and legs. I loved it. It was so realistic. About this big, I think. And a Rupert the Bear annual. I had a Rupert the Bear annual. Did it you? had a Welsh witch in it. Oh, yeah. Mine did. And still to this day, I absolutely love one of my favourite smells, the smell of new books. I just love it. I got a new box for my birthday off Fiona and Jude, so thank you Fiona and Jude. Just sit there smelling it, don't have to read it. Can you remember what the dog was called in it? Uh, was it a Scottish sounding name? No. You know it, don't you? Of course I know it. What is it? I thought you loved Rupert. Montague? No. Monty? No. What was it? Ping Pong. Oh yeah. I did the brief it, but that was a long time ago. <laughs> From Tickety Boo. And over um, here. You alright? Hiya. And another one. Hiya, Hiya you alright? Feels like it's getting busier and busier, doesn't it? No. I'm sure there's a reason that this canal is so busy. That's well, quite beautiful. <laughs> yeah. I hope so. And I think people want to do the Ponte Salty. Yeah. It's like you see it all the time, don't you, in these programmes? Yeah. I suppose the only time, the only problem with this time of year is all the leaves on the canal as well. How close am I to your... Um, you've got about two feet my side. It's very silted here. Yeah, about a foot my side. I can feel it pushing over. Yeah. Am I alright there? Yes, yeah, it's about a foot on my side, I think. That was really silted. It was pushing me over. Yeah, it's the floor as you're going under the bridge, it really does pull you over to one side, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. It's a few inches to my side, but we should wait for that water. I've got a feeling we may have to do some of the new blacking after this trip. <laughs> we have to do what? Some of the new blacking after this trip.
You all right? Anything behind you? No, I don't think so. Nope. No. Fabulous, thank you. Yeah. I'm just recording again. Just to the left here are Frankton Locks, and this is a start of the Montgomery Canal. We may come back this way in a couple of weeks. It's really nice to see people enjoying the canals. Yeah. It's like a lovely family on the high boat. They've done it the screaming kids that alerted us somebody's <laughs> coming round the corner to be fair. Were they screaming in terror? Or because they're enjoying themselves? I saw the boat and yeah. I beat my horn to acknowledge as well. Yeah. It's gone really chilly, hasn't it? Yeah, it's freezing. We're still cruising. It's now quarter past five. We set off at about quarter past two because Gabby Ann here was I like a chat. gabbing to everybody and I'm trying to set up microphones and cameras and get off. <laughs> Such a killjoy. Well, Dexter, wow. Just the... <laughs> we can chat. Killjoy. We are chatting to them in the bus. It was nice chatting to people. Anyway, it should be warm because I bought some heat logs from, from the Tesco. Is that what's on the fire now? Yeah. <laughs> are these smokers? What? Are they smokers? They're eco-friendly oh. fire logs. Yeah. So they're supposed to give off heat, a lot more heat, and for longer. Okay. So it might be quite cosy with them on tonight. So Anthony's talking about doing the Montgomery Canal in two days. I don't think we can get as far as the Ponticiclic Aqueduct, turn around, come back, and get to the Montgomery in that time. We definitely can. You He's can do. Doctor Who. You can do Ponticiclic. From where we've started off today in one day. So can you? you can def yeah, so you can definitely do it there and back. If we don't talk to people till quarter past two in the afternoon. We'll just have to get up earlier tomorrow, make yeah. sure we set off. There's been some stunning scenery, hasn't there, today? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry to say to our viewers that the sun was in our eyes most of the time, so we couldn't film a lot of it. Yeah, hopefully we'll get some like amazing shots when we come on the way back. On the way back, yeah. because the sun will be behind us. Yeah, um, the flow will be behind us as well, so we'll be going a lot faster. Oh yeah, that's a good point. We can get to the Montgomery in half the time, can't that's we? That's right. It's crazy the flow. Always thinking. <laughs> People had warned us about the flow, but we didn't think it would be as bad as it is. Especially when you're going under the bridges, it really slows you down. And apparently, a church tunnel. You feel like you're treading water. Yeah, they said you just you just have to accept it crawls through. I'm hoping we can get more up soon. Alright. Somebody told us if you go to just before the lock, there's some nice moorings there. We're well, going to take the word and see what happens. It's more the internet, to be honest. I decided to jump off at this point with Dexter so he could stretch his legs.
come on Dexter, catch up with your dad. Spot. It's a nice spot, isn't it? The clouds. All right, well, it's been a fabulous day, hasn't it? Yeah, it really has. Dexter's so good as crew, isn't he? He loved his little walk. <laughs> tired now, aren't Jumping you? off the bridges. Okay. Yeah, it's been a fab day, thank you. Right, I'll well, ignore the dishes in the sink, but this is the view that we've got. Oh, yeah. How cosy does the fire look? I'm going to settle down, maybe watch a bit of TV, a bit of film, or a bit of YouTube. I've got some editing to do. Perfect. Yeah. It's so warm and toasty on the boat. I can't wait to settle down with a drink, maybe a glass of wine and something to eat. Uh, Dexter's exhausted, we're very tired. Uh, yeah, boy, it's been one of those perfect cruising days. And the lithium battery is up to 100% because of the few hours cruising that we've done today. Well, Anthony, it's what? Half past 10 at night, 20 to 11. And what are you doing? Getting ready for bed? I'm um, prepping a bar of breath because we're in Wales. Oh, nice. I love bar of breath. We've not had that for ages, have we? No. Yeah. Let's have a look. It's fatless. No. Well. It's not Carol. I can't even say that word. Calorie free. Cal yeah, what that. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, what's what's the ingredients? Sugar, dried fruit, tea bags, bit of marmalade, mixed spice. It looks totally alien to me putting tea bags in a cake. Well, you don't put it in the cake. <laughs> I you soak it overnight. Make yeah. strong tea. So it means. Spotted bread, I think. Was in it? Welsh. Mm -hmm. bread, yeah. I think. I yeah. might be wrong. Let me know. Learn something every day, yeah. eh? Oh, like right, bugger as well, mate. Uh. <laughs> I did wonder. I uh, tie it up like this at night. So it go in my face when I'm oh. trying to sleep. <laughs> oh, right. oh, you could just cut it. No. I like it. Right. I lose all my strength then. <laughs> well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Join us next time when we finally make it over the amazing Ponticilti Aqueduct. And do we avoid a head-on collision? <laughs>